How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. This is part two to the welding table, tilting fixture, uh, tilting lock, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so we're going to try to get a few more parts made here in this video and we'll review them real quick uh, on Fusion and we'll jump right in there. So uh, here we go. Uh, here's the Fusion model and you know last time we made this gold, the gold color piece here, the block. And there's a couple of screws there that go in the bottom uh, to, to lock it in place on the table. Now we'll get rid of a few things here so you can uh, see a little bit more what we're going to make. So I want to make this pin here next. And this will be a press fit to a shrink fit uh, into the block. I'll warm the block up. I, I would like to warm the block up and uh, then have to actually press it in so it's really good and tight in there. And we won't have to pin it or or anything like or weld it in. I, I just want it to be put in with a press type fit or a shrink even fit. And then we uh, like I said, so we have the the block is already made. And then we're going to build a pivot part here, just a ring that goes around and slips on there, spins. We want it to spin freely, uh, and there'll be a pocket in the side of it here that we'll put in. For the slide bar, the slide bar will then go in here, and we'll weld that, weld that in. And then uh, off camera, I'm not going to show making this, but this is just a washer that with a quarter inch hole in it, and a socket head cap screw to hold that on. And that would just stop this from slipping off the pin because it's nice. I want this a nice free fit here. No, no binding, no nothing uh, on there. Uh, so it has a little bit of wiggle room. Uh, you know, on the, even on the sides a little bit. If we make it too tight, too precision, things won't work. You know, you know, there's some parts that are for very precision, but this part here, this movement, uh, you don't want it to be too too tight. You want to have a little bit of play in there. So let's get out of here and uh, go and uh, see what we're really going to be making and um, see where we can get today. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, a lot more parts to go, so hopefully, uh, maybe only two more videos. Maybe uh, I try to. We'll try to get it wrapped up. <laughs> I'll try to cut a lot out, I should say, but uh, we'll we'll get going on it. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas to everybody, and uh, please stay tuned. Please subscribe. And it's free to subscribe, and it won't hurt you a bit. And uh, if you're interested in Patreon, I'm on Patreon, and. Uh, Come in and join in. Help me build a shop. Help me build an addition to my shop. Thanks, you guys, and thanks for watching. This is part number two, and we're going to make this pin that's going to press into the block. Pretty simple pin, just a, about an inch worth of press here, and that's about it. And then this part will be the pivoting part. I turned off. It, this is hot rolled. 4130, the pre-hardened material. Same thing I'd make the dovetail cutters out of. It'll make a nice, real nice pin. Let's get a dimension here. Eight seventy five five. That's perfect. Eight seventy five was the target, and over here we're looking at nine. We were nine hundred for the target, and we're just a smidge over. But I'm press fitting that. A little warm up of the block, and it will go right on. All right, we got our hole in there. Now we we'll take it out and flip it around and part this off. the 
this up a little bit. Make this go in there a little bit easier. Perfect chips. Still got a nice fit. Perfect. Come out great. That's gonna go right on there. Nice, nice free spinning. There's a pivot. We need to put a hole in the side though. Perfect fit. We're gonna weld that in. And we did not go into the bore. We just wanted just a little pocket. A little pocket to fit that into. Perfect. 